Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. This week's video, as you might see, hopefully from the timestamp, the little duration there in the bottom, it's a long one. I haven't filmed it yet. I'm literally recording this at the start of the video, but I already know this is gonna take forever. I shouldn't need to say it, but if you need a drink or a snack or a three course meal, feel free to get that and come back to this because this is going to be very long. I have a heck of a lot of anthurium to show you in today's video. Today's video is all about my Anthurium collection. Previously, we've already gone through my Monstera collection, which is a bit shorter, so if you've not maybe got as much time as you need to for this one, feel free to watch the Monstera one. This is my Anthurium collection. Now then, this might not be every single Anthurium in the shop, but it's everything I can feasibly get, see, distinguish, everything else. It's really, really difficult. I mention this all the time. This plant shop has upwards of 7,000 plants in here. A lot of them tend to die off and go back to stumps, so you tend to miss it if it doesn't have a good leaf and it's not presenting for you. You sometimes forget it's there. It happens, as I'm sure you can imagine. There is a lot here, literally a lot here, but I'm gonna do my absolute best to go through the plants that I have. Now, I may forget names. I may miss ID plants. It happens. Please just bear with me. This is an undertaking, but I tell you what, we're gonna do our damnedest today. So if I get things wrong, feel free to laugh at that. I will do my best to give you the right names on the screen as always. Honestly, I will, I will do my best, but I might just get it wrong. There's some big plants, there's some small plants, there's some long boys, there's some short boys, there's some velvety boys, there's some dark boys, there's some sort of warty boys. We've got a lot of different things here, a lot of different things, and I have no idea where to start. If you're ready, let's just get straight into it. I'm not going to say a ton about each plant because we'll be here probably for three hours, and whilst a lot of you I know would love that, I don't really have three hours today. So I'm gonna start with a really easy one. I'm gonna start with a really easy one, let's go. This guy does look sorry for himself. I do have a nicer one upstairs, but he's upstairs and he's huge and I don't want to bring him down because I've brought a few big ones down already and I've got to put them all back up and it's difficult. So you get a one leafer and he's not looking great. A lot of the plants in this video might not look great, but you know, it's fine. You know me, I don't like to pretend something is good when it isn't. So the first plant, and it, it literally looks like this. First plant I want to show you and I will skip over it reasonably quickly. This is Anthurium clarinervium. I've got loads of this, you know, I've got so much of this. I have this guy. I have a tray of Anthurium propagations. It's just got loads of them coming out, but they look really shaped. I've got a big one upstairs that I'm using to propagate from, shall we say, and swap some pollen around. Honestly, this one gets more from me and it does less good as the one that gets nothing and it's upstairs. But this is Anthurium clarinervium. I'd class it as uncommon. It does the rounds nearly every spring and summer in most, not necessarily garden centers. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Certainly in a lot of more boutique, uh, regular houseplant shops, it certainly does the rounds. If you are looking to test your luck with an Anthurium, I've said this a lot before, go for this guy. This guy might not look it, He's lived through some shit. He's lived through some shit. He's honestly, he's been neglected so many times. He's been underwater. He's been overwatered. He's had rust. He's probably had spider mites. He's probably had it all. He's had it all. And I think this one's actually come from my old flat. That's why it's in this pot. This isn't a pot that I use at this shop, as you might know. It's even in regular old substrate and it's got orchid bark in it, which tells me it's definitely from my old flat way back when. So I do still keep things. I just can't promise what happens to them. Anthurium clarinobium basically looks like this. It's got two lovely little ears on it that normally sort of pinch together like that. You could literally pinch them. That's just Oh, it's not really a defining characteristic, but it's something I like to note. And it's got some really nice veins. It's a little bit velvety. It, I say this a lot with velvety anthuriums. It feels more like suede, but that's him anyway. I'm not going to linger on him. You may have seen him before, you may not. That's Anthurium clarinervium. He is the basis for a lot of plants that I probably have here at the shop. So I will try and point that out when we get to them, whenever we get to them. I'm going to pick up this swamp. What is it? What is it? What does it do? This is really, really ugly looking, not gonna lie. I think it's the only one that's doing anything in the minute. It's got a new leaf coming in. This is, this is not good. This is Anthurium debilis. I can't tell you much about it, honestly. I think I got like four of them in, in 2021. I probably still got two of them and they just grow really badly. They're not a good grower at all. Not an easy one, at least not for me. Again, depends where you are. Depends how good at growing you are. Blah, 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 blah. But this is sort of what he looks like. He shouldn't really be bent inwards, but I don't know why he in particular has a really wide sinus here when he doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. Sometimes they just do this and then they go back the other way. It's an anthurium thing. It doesn't really happen with Monstera or Philodendron, but it happens with anthurium. He's all right. I, I just don't recommend him. He looks like this. 
You've never really heard me talk about him much. It's probably why he's just, he's not my favorite at all. So that's him. I'm going to put him swiftly down because who honestly cares about this little guy? I know you might think that's harsh, but he's not very good looking. So we'll just put him down. This guy here is quite a cute one. And I believe, I hope I have this right. I really do. Feel free to correct me if you think I'm wrong. But I think, I think this guy here, you can kind of see it in this one, actually. This here is Anthurium crystallinum crossed with anthurium forgetii and what i will do for you because i've just realized i've told you two plants that make this and you haven't seen either of the two plants so i'll make sure the next two plants i pull are crystallinum and forgetii you can sort of see the forgetii in this plant because heads up forgetii has no sinus here so it has no little gap here in between the ears it's just completely round so you can see a lot of that roundness at the top and you can see a lot of the crystallinum in the veining i can't tell you if i have any others of these i don't think i've got very many but i quite like these and i think these are underrated now for me crystallinum grows really well which i'll get into and so does forget eye so I think this is probably quite a tough plant, to be honest. So I don't know if I have more of these, but they are very, very pretty. I like this a lot. Look how dark it is as well. Oof, oof. Right, I'm gonna show you Crystallinum. I'm gonna show you Forgetti Eye, as promised. I'll tell you what, I'll show you Forgetti Eye first, because it's right here, because I will be showing you another Forgetti Eye later on, but this is the regular Forgetti Eye, and he's lovely. So this is what I mean. This is Anthurium Forgetti Eye. As you can see here, it's completely round at the top, and I just love this plant. I love this plant so much. It's not my favorite Forgetti Eye, but it's one of my favorite Anthuriums, if that makes sense. That's what you see. You still see some of that nice veining. The veining is a little bit different up top, but the main difference with Forgetti Eye is this roundness up the top. I don't see enough people with these plants. Someone needs to tell me why they don't like these because I don't get it. I think they're adorable and they do grow genuinely very well. They're definitely on the tougher side of, you know, all the posh anthurium for sure. Look at the top of that. That's just cool, man. Like why would not, why does no one want that? I love that. Right, crystallinum, I can either show you my little one or I can show you my big one. So I think I will show you my big one. Give me one moment while I pick it up. Oh my God. Okay, so if you didn't like crystallinum before, there's something wrong with you because you have to like this. You have to like this. And yes, it is this big, by the way. It's not camera trickery. Let me just try and not bash my microphone there. That's how big this plant is. So if anyone's curious, you will see this plant on a plant haul if you go all the way back to, it's either 2019 or it's very early 2020. Basically the first ever crystallinum I hold on my channel. I, I remember it because I was wearing a yellow t-shirt right on this plant hole. It's the only time I think I've ever worn a yellow t-shirt. Don't ask me why I know that. I just know that. It's in that video. It's the same actual crystalline. I've had it that long and he's got this big. Now he could have been a lot bigger. He's just been, you know the story, he's been a bit neglected, shall we say. But he's, he's, he's thriving now. He's had a lot of my feed, so you can imagine he's doing pretty well. I mean, come on. Is that not a thumbnail? That could be a thumbnail. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you if you don't have these plants. This is how they grow. They grow a little bit better than this. <laughs> this is how they grow. Proceeds to show you something that grows terribly. Literally, they normally face a little bit more upward than this, the petioles. It's because I've sat it on top of a shelf and it's sort of grown down to the light. So normally, they would be a bit more upright. So if you take this petiole here, for example, they're probably going to grow a bit more like that. Just how you'd expect an anthurium to grow. They grow like that. It's because of the way that I've had this, but you need one of these in your lives. Seriously. Not only that, but these, I'm going to call these uncommon now, and I think that's fair. You won't see them in plant shops necessarily, but you'll see them everywhere online. I sell them for a really good price. And then that's not just me, by the way. I'm sure a lot of shops are doing the same thing. Really, really good plants. If you get a knack for them, you will get a lot from them like this. That's my hand next to the plant. It's massive guys honestly persevere with them let this be your motivation to keep it i'm going to put it down because it's actually quite heavy and i don't have the gains required so off the back of that it's only right that i show you this absolutely stunning plant this is my favorite forgetty eye hands down this is beautiful this is what i just call forgetty eye dark form it's the same thing it's still got that lovely you know, non-sinus, you could say. It's just completely round. It's got a little bit of a divot, but do you know what I mean? It's completely round. It doesn't really have the white veins. This is just sort of really muted and dark. It is actually really dark. I'm wearing, I'm wearing dark green. Don't get me wrong, but you should be able to see on camera that it's really nice and dark and beautiful. It could be better. It's got a flower on it at the minute, so it's been carefully watched by us at the shop because we're doing some crossing, should we say, some mucking around. There's another leaf there. It's not done as well. There's another one there that's definitely got crisped at 
points. This one here, which is, it's actually the most recent one. That's a big shame, actually. But this guy here is where it's at. Let me just show you this up close because it, it is lovely. And I don't see why people don't have these. I don't see the dark form much at all. I tend to see the regular one with the veins on. The care is the same, by the way. I don't find any difference with the care, but there's just something about these muted veins that I like a lot. So he's flowering, so he's getting baby sat, if you know what I mean. He's got a job to do. Right, I'm going to show you a little one and I'm going to show you a big one. But I have Anthurium Magnificum in the shop. I probably have the regular form. I don't know where it is. But the difference between the regular form and this form is one, this form I find nicer. Two, the regular form has some white veinage there. So that's kind of the difference. I'm going to show you, I'll show you this one here because it's just small enough and cute enough to be honest to be shown. This one here. This is Magnificum, but it's Magnificum Verde, which... Just call it dark form verde, whatever you want to call it. There's no rules here. But I think it's supposed to be known as Magnificent Verde. But you know how, you know, plant names are. So sometimes they're made up, sometimes they aren't. I never know, do you? This is a small one. I have a big one here and you're not ready for it. He's great. He's gone a bit uh, as well because he sits on the shelf upstairs and he's grown sort of downwards. So he could look a lot better and a lot more together. But this is the small one and I really, really like it. It's got some really, really nice ears on him, some lovely lobes. And the veining here, it's not white. This is just the veins on the plant, if I show you these here. Very, very muted, very understated, very sexy. And this is kind of where my love for anthiums really comes through. Nine times out of 10, I don't like super contrast. I'm very picky with it. I will now attempt to show you the larger one. He he knows what he's about, put it that way. Right, I'm gonna have to stand back with him. But as you can probably see, this is my rather large Magnificent Verde. That's level with my head, so you can see just how big that is. He has three big leaves. If I stand further back here, you might be able to see. He's large and in charge, but he's grown a bit stupid. So if I show this to the camera the best I can, please bear with me. This is unbelievably difficult. This is why you don't see this plant on camera, by the way, because it's just very difficult logistically to lift him and show you him quite nicely. I can't point out features on the plant because I, you know, I need both hands to do that. I don't have them, but that's him. Really nice deep lobes. This is him definitely mature. They can get a little bit nicer than this, to be honest, and get a little bit more lobey, but that's kind of him. The veins on it, they're again, very understated. They're not white or silvery or anything like that. Not that regular Magnificum is massively, but it's a lot more contrasty than this. And I really, really like it. So if you don't like the regular Magnificum, maybe you might like these guys. They're really, really nice. Next plant. And again, guys, this is in no order. This here is a representation of basically the non-variegated form, but I've said this to you before. I can't really find the non-variegated form. Uh, oh God, tell me I've still got some. You know what it is? I can't find any now. I'm saying that to you. I can't see a single one. I'm sure I have one. But anyway, this here is variegated Anthurium vitari folium. So terrible example, but these will grow like really long belts. And I will try and insert a photograph for you of what they actually look like. They look absolutely mint. I love them. It's not the only long boy on this list, but it's certainly one of them. But I appreciate this doesn't look that way. So there's not a lot to show you with this one, admittedly. It's just, it's very juvenile, but there's some nice variegation on him. But again, it's not supposed to be to show you variegated ones. It's just to show you the plant itself. So that's him when he's young. The leaves are incredibly, incredibly leathery. They're almost like leather belts, if I'm honest. They're really, really nice. I love them. I think they're great plants. I will whiz over him because he doesn't really illustrate my point. And the picture that I've probably put in for you does illustrate my point. This guy really quickly, this guy's, he's looked better, to be honest. This is reasonably rare and reasonably collectible. This is Anthurium Selby Silver, which I think, I feel like it is very, uh, can't speak, a variation on Anthurium Crystallinum. So it's kind of like an Anthurium Crystallinum that's longer, slimmer, and a bit more silver. Not that you can massively see, but this is sort of what they grow like. Is that even going to focus? Apologies if it doesn't. Is it even going to? It's not. It's, it's trolling me. It's not going to do it, is it? There. It just grows a bit different, and with this leaf here, leaves aren't in the best of condition. Can you see what I mean? Not your average. I don't personally care for these. I think I did in the beginning, but I kind of don't now. I don't really care. Again, it's it's sought after for sure. Not sure of the exact value. You may have to look a little bit harder to find these, and if you do want one, do your homework to make sure it's the real deal, because... You never know. Ideally buy a plant with more than one leaf so you absolutely know that it's it's a persisting thing, of course. It's not just a random crystal that someone decided to capitalize on. But yeah, they're nice plants. These ones have red petioles and they just insert like that. You see a little bit of red at the top, but not a lot. But that's him anyway. I'm sure I have nicer ones than him. 
but he's just what I've managed to pick up. And in true Kaylee fashion, I've not even trimmed it for you. I just left the shit on. Oh, this one's kind of nice, but I don't know what to call him. And I've left these leaves on to tell you that he's prone to a lot of problems, but he is very nice. This was bought as Anthurium Crystallinum, but as you can probably tell, he kind of ain't that. Generally, he's got way more silver. I hope that is apparent there by the veinage there, way more silver. He grows a bit shorter, definitely a bit rounder. There's a lot more reddy color involved. I don't know if you can really see it up the back. There is for sure. Sorry, I know these look real bad. So that's kind of him. He's just a bit different. Is that flower act or is it gone? I think it's gone, that one, only a baby flower. I don't know what he is. You can just see it's not crystalline. You can see it's got something else in there. So I'm not really sure what he is. If you think you know what he is, feel free to just timestamp it or do whatever. Maybe I'll put a number in this so you can tell me what he is. But I don't know. There's another look. He is very nice though. I, I'm really quite partial to him. He's quite pretty. But I couldn't tell you for the life of me what he is. He's definitely not just a crystal. He's probably hybridized with something because a lot of the time nowadays you get crystallinum in a lot of things a lot of things crystals crossed with all sorts of stuff so who even knows what he is but he's really pretty i think you can tell that i do quite like him quite partial to a bit of him so this plant here he could look so much better than what he does he goes really long right you might have seen this plant before i know i've got a good picture of it so i'll have to put it in this plant here is anthurium lineal latum and he's very nice he's paper thin though he is paper paper thin but he's surprisingly easy to grow. It's sort of like a matte effect on the leaf and there's dimension on the leaf, but it's still overall very flat. There's just sort of lines on it if I just cover my face. So maybe it might actually show you. Do you get what I'm saying? I've just dribbled water on myself. Just a really, really different plant. But yeah, I will, again, I will insert a picture because it looks way better than what I'm showing you. These plants look amazing. I don't think enough people have these. If I did another video about plants that you haven't maybe heard of, but look for them because they look cool, but they're not necessarily on everyone's like super rare valuable list. So you've got a chance of getting them one of those videos. I'd probably put him on it because he's really good. This is the only one I have in this shop, by the way, and I think it's my really old one that still survived. He doesn't look his best, I won't lie. Let's get the obvious one out of the way. This guy is a little bit bendy, but he's all right. This is here to represent my wonderful Anthurium Waraquinum. He did look great, but I think you might have seen him on a previous video. He had some, some issues, so he's been cut down a little bit. They would normally hang straight down. This one is not. I don't really know what his beef is. He's just decided, hey, this is how we do. He reminds me of how my spine is with my scoliosis. This is very much the vibe I rock on a daily basis, but that is him looking really nice. I can sort of, he's, he's not really doing us justice, is he? You, hopefully you know what a Queen Anthurium looks like and you understand the way that it works. Cause this guy, he's doing his own thing. He's got his own vibe and I don't know if I'd gel with it, but you know, I think if I sold this, someone would be like, oh, that's a shame. You know what I mean? I don't think it's an attractive quality that he's all minced up. He's probably had a leaf come out over some plants and it's hardened off that way. That's exactly what it looks like to me. This plant is not the easiest to look after. I've said this before. It's not impossible. A lot of people say that they're really, really difficult. And I always say the same thing and that's you either click with them or you don't. You either click with them or you don't. I'm middle of the road. I think I'm more towards, if you had to say, do you click with them or do you not? I'm more towards yes than no, definitely but they're not the easiest plant. I wouldn't put them in for beginners, but at the same time, I wouldn't say that they're as hard as some people make out. I think if you've had a few of them and you're still not getting to grips with them and you're not willing to like stick them in a terrarium or something, just, just don't, just don't bother. Get something else, I think. There's some other plants that might do this job for you, but wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you're still struggling after all this time. Just get something else, honestly. Don't torture yourself over it. I've got one on the living wall that I can't get to look good. If you guys have followed that, it just hates it. I grow other anthurium in my shop beautifully, but the one on the wall hates its life. It needs to come off. So yeah, anthurium waraquinum, also known as queen anthurium. Very beautiful, very shield belt-like, very pendulous. Nice plant. It is a nice plant. I shouldn't bash it so much. It is nice. I just, I just want people to know what they're getting. Do you know what I mean? And we have this guy. This guy should be a nice representation. Yes, this guy's very cute. What has he got on here? He's got a little bit of something, something on this one. That's interesting. So this guy here is, he's got a beauty spot. I'll show you up close for size because it's definitely silver. There we go. Very, very odd. But this guy here is Anthurium regal. Had to think about that. Either regal, regale, whatever you want to call it. I call him regal. 
don't know why, just a really nice plant. Not the easiest, not the easiest. This is definitely one of the harder ones in the shop. And I'm pretty sure everyone has encountered a plant like this before and had it shipped in like this. Maybe it looks beautiful when you get it. And it does what Queen Anthurium tends to do. And it turns into a Dorito pretty quick. They can get a lot of problems with bacterial rust and other such things on the leaf. They're not your best anthurium. If you want something like this, then a Magnificum or a Crystallinum is probably going to be better for you if you want something less difficult. They are nice. Don't get me wrong. They are nice. They're just... They're a bit of a nightmare. You can get a lot of variations on this as well, by the way. You can get longer ones. You can get ones with really like lateral straight across secondary veins and stuff. You can get a lot of variation depending on where they are from in the world. I've got some from Peru. I've got one upstairs that's Peruvium. You wouldn't even know it was an Anthurium regal. They just look so different. So you can get a lot of different things in these. They do have a very specific appearance when they're mature though, and I will say that, and they are lovely. If you, again, if you click with them, go for it. If you don't, let me try and find something similar. Maybe this video might help you find something similar, but yeah, I, I don't have the best luck with them. That, if anyone's about to get excited, I highly doubt that's variegation. I've said this before. It is silver, if you're wanting to know. It's definitely a big silver spot, but I can't see it progressing. I won't go into it, but it just, it just happens sometimes. But yeah, that's him. He's obviously going to turn a little bit there. He's not doing the best, but I love him all the same. And I'm sure he will be propagated at some point because that's getting a bit silly. Clearly, he's had a lot of failed leaves because we've been missing them and not selling him. So he's now really, really tall. So probably just snip it down, try again, get some more out of him. I have a bigger plant of this guy upstairs, but it was too much to bring down. So I have a lovely, lovely version of him with loads of, not fenestrations, but loads of shape on the leaf. There's one sticking out of the wall that I wish I could grab for you as well. It looks great. He looks awesome. This looks terrible, but this here is Anthurium macrolobium. This is a hybrid of, let me get this right, ugh, Clarinervium and Pedateradiatum or something like that, the fingery one. It's a hybrid of those. So Clarinervium, the super strong plant. I should have mentioned that when we talked about Clarinervium. Super tough plant. Oh my God, one of the toughest there is. It's been hybridized with that. Now, there's a lot of Macrolobiums that not seemingly very legit. This one absolutely is. This one has come from a botanical garden, as it happens. I didn't steal it or anything like that. The garden was closing down and they offered up some plants, so we got those. But this and everything I've ever sold has come from the one plant. So the one on the wall is the same plant. This is the same plant. The one in my studio is the same plant. It's a really, really nice plant and it grows really cool. I don't think it's for everyone. It's more of like an anthurium collector's plant. So I will skip over it just because I don't know how many people are bothered about it. But that's what they look like juvenile anyway, if you needed to know. That is Anthurium macrolobium. Nice little hybrid plant. Oh my God, can you believe it? We're out of one tray now. We're out of one tray. We have another tray to do. And then I have a table full of Anthurium to do that are all potted up and sexy and everything. So we're kind of, dare I say, a third of the way through this video. Now that's a guesstimation. You will know by looking at the little bar along the bottom how far we are. But as we're filming it, I think that's where we're at. This guy, again, same thing as my other Anthurium. He has grown on the top of a shelf and he has grown down off it. So that's why he looks a little bit funky. But this guy here, as you can probably tell, is Anthurium vichii, also known as the king anthurium. So we had the queen anthurium, this guy's the king anthurium, and he's supposed to be a Vichii narrow form, which doesn't mean he's narrow this way. I used to think way back in the day that's what it meant. What I think it means is he's narrow in his abs. I like to call them abs, looks a bit abish, but if you see all of these here, these wonderful lines, he has them all down his leaves, really, really nice texture. The gaps in between these are very, very small. I think there is other VGI out there whose gaps are much wider. So if you do want a VGI, be aware of that and find the version that you want. Most people tend to want the narrow one. They want this more, I call them rutches a lot of the time. There's as many rutches as you can possibly get. There's a nice one here as well that sort of shows them off. He does have a little bit of pesticide on him. Do not worry, that's all it is. You see him there as well. He's really, really nice. This particular guy's flowered a couple of times. He's got a new flower coming out right now. He wasn't upstairs today, so that's probably why. Because again, we're flower watching because that's what we're doing at the moment. He has grown funky. That's very unattractive, but you can sort of see when I hold it up there, you can sort of see how he's grown like that. So that's why he looks funky. He can grow a lot nicer than this. And he would in time, of course, if I put him on a pole or something and I just encourage him to grow a bit upwards. But he's a lovely, lovely boy and I do recommend them. And they're very easy to grow. I feel like everyone agrees with me when I say that. I don't frequently hear of people having trouble with these. I think they're all right. Anthurium vichii, king anthurium, lovely plant. Still have a bit of a value, to be honest, because I think people don't buy them so often. So when you see them, they do cost a little bit. 
but they're all right and I'm sure you can get one if you want one. This one here is a bit nuts. In fact, there is something wrong with this plant. I've never seen a plant do this. This is wild. It's almost like this plant has originally been tissue cultured, right? And I get, very occasionally, I get plants into the shop that look like this. And I say, my way of referring to these plants is, oh, it's in TC mode. And I seriously, I've never seen anything quite like this. I'm going to show it to you and you're going to be like, oh my God, because look at this. Can you see this? I will turn it round for you. Have you, have you seen this plant? I would never need to own any more than one of this plant, ever. Look at the state of how many new shoots there are. It is jam packed to the point where you can't do anything with the plant. That is weird. And I would not be surprised if this wasn't a TC plant. Plus it's very nice and tough. Aside from all that, I can now tell you that the plants aren't supposed to be that bushy. So it's supposed to be a bit more minimal like the other ones. So don't go into this thinking, oh, cool. And I don't think that's normal either. That's really, really weird. I'm going to show you it again because it is that weird. Let me know if you've got some of these that are doing it. Let me know if you've got any anthurium that's doing it because that is wild. I occasionally get it on some other philodendrons and stuff. Philodendron Florida Ghost. I've got a few of those that are doing it. And they're from like a batch from literally ages ago. And they are from Thailand, so they will be TC. This is... I can't remember if it's Peru, Ecuador, or somewhere else. I suspect it's Ecuador, and this looks like it's been tea seed. Not a bad thing, it's just kind of like, what on earth? That is really quite a sight to behold. So yes, anyway, about the plant itself, it's tough as nails, guys. It, it doesn't die, it doesn't even look terrible. And it's, it's been given the same neglect that nearly everything else has, because as you guys know, I've had not the best few months, but it's still looking great. There's a couple of leaves, don't get me wrong, that are looking a bit crap, but generally, I mean, it's so full, it's not even really disturbing the lecker very much, it's doing that well, so. Now, I would say this is sort of a cheaper option for the plant that everyone would rather have, and I will show you that now because it's the best way to compare it, but before I do that, if I could just draw your attention to how the leaf looks with the corrugation on it, like that. Typically plants, by the way, with corrugation are difficult to care for and they have a lot of humidity requirements. Not this. This is fine, as you can tell. I don't even know what's happened to that. That is wild. Let me show you the thing that people really want though, in terms of this versus the other one, because it's sexy. This is where it's at. This here is what that plant wants to be, if you get what I'm saying. This here is Anthurium Luxurians and it is Luxurians. Look at it. Sorry, I'm knocking my camera. If I could just show that to you. Look at that absolutely unbelievably spectacular and the other leaf here which is just as good like that i do have a, a very erect flower coming in like so loving that i know it can't focus because it's still finding my face but that is him anyway this plant is absolutely gorgeous i don't know what their value is it's shot up it's shot down it's shot up it's shot down i don't know so it thrives on neglect upstairs in the studio where it is definitely brighter it's hotter and it's a little bit more dry and it seems to thrive and it doesn't typically get spoiled in the leaves and things like that on the bottoms of them. But down here, I've had luxuriance and it's a lot more hit and miss. So I actually think they prefer it a bit drier. So yeah, that's definitely something to note about it. But can I just literally, I mean, mm, it's sexy as it not. This is a really beautiful plant. If you kind of like luxuriance and you don't mind the difference, then go for that one because it's probably cheaper. This is like the expensive version that people tend to want. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty fit. It's pretty nice. And it's rock solid. It's really, really leathery, corrugated, thick. It is thick. It is not messing around. I'm gonna put him down because as I say, we're looking after these flowers and Ben will kill me if I ruin it. This one's a bit spindly. However, this plant here is Anthurium. I think it's Longisimilobum. Longa, I can't pronounce it. Longisimilobum. That's the one. So it doesn't look like much, but when this thing gets mature, it actually looks very much like a Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. If you don't know what that plant is, feel free to Google it. It's basically, it gets really big ears. The ears are already quite large on this plant. This plant is very juvenile and it just gets longer and longer and longer. I've shown you this plant before on, I like to think I put it in the Spiritus Sancti dupes video, but I'm not sure if I did. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But that's kind of what he is. He doesn't look like much now, but he gets insane. He gets really, really good. These used to have a value attached to them for that reason. They were actually quite expensive for me to get a hold of. I don't know what's happened since. I don't know. You might have a better idea than me because I think I got these in. Don't be put off by how basic it looks. It does get mint. I just don't have a 
a mature one to show you. But they're very, very nice. Very waxy, quite thin, definitely long petioles, definitely very slim petioles. Trust me when I say it's a nice plant. Honestly, just trust me. Oh, I tell you something. Literally, those of you that like long, uh, long boys, we like to call them in the trade. It's a very scientific term. But those of you that like long boys, very narrow, pendulous, pendulous long boys are going to love this plant. This is a favorite in the shop of a few people that come to the shop, actually. I might have more than one. I think there's one up there. I'm going to say I have two. I'm going to say I have two. I don't know. That's only because I can see a leaf up there and it looks about right. Oh, no, wait, that's a philodendron bicolor up there. Never mind, I might just have one. So this guy, this guy's kind of hot and he's really, really narrow. This is Anthurium, I think it's Pallidiflorum narrow. Is that right? Is there a tag? Pallidiflorum narrow, yeah. Super narrow, sorry, super narrow. And it, it is narrow, look at this. And it is persistent as well. I bought this plant oh, a year and a bit ago maybe and it's just stayed like that because I, I always worry in buying something when there's just like one leaf coming out of it. I definitely bought this as more than one leaf, but there's always that worry that something's just going to change conditions and the leaves are going to get fatter. Not with this guy. This guy has stayed really, really narrow and these are not easy to find at all. There is a price tag on these, I will freely tell you, but he's very, very nice, is he not? Not the easiest to care for, although he's fine in this unit. He grows all right in here, but I don't suppose he's going to grow okay everywhere. I think this is a bit more specialized. He can't be too bad because obviously I've got Queen Anthurium that don't look this good. So he's, he's obviously all right, but he's not the easiest. If you want something belt like that is easy, go for the Vitari Folium for sure. It's much better option for you than this. Um, plus this is very costly. The Vitari Folium isn't, but I have to show you it because it's quite sexy and it's definitely loved by many. Is this the newest one? This is the newest one here. He's only really getting narrower with age. Look, look at that. Oh, he is nice. He is nice. I'm going to put him down because he's, he's very loved in this shop. Very, very cute boy. I would never want to sell him. He's gorgeous. He's really pretty. Another corrugated plant for you really quickly. This is Anthurium rugulosum, and I don't like this Anthurium. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I think this is one that Ben pulled in, not me. Don't like it. Don't want it. Does it grow all right? Yeah, it just... I'm going to say something mean about this plant, which would not be unheard of on this channel, but it really just reminds me of a like an allotment plant, like a garden plant, which nothing wrong with it, but I don't want that in my house. Do you know what I mean? I don't want that in my house. And I don't know why I think that. It's got a sort of anthurium shape. The texture's there, but it's just, ugh, I don't know. It's very rough on the back. There's tons of tiny little hairs that the camera probably will not pick up. So apologies in advance. It might, it might not. There you go. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. Tons of tiny little hairs. Yeah, it's just boring. It's just boring. But I'm sure for every time I say something is boring, there are plenty of you out there that think it's smacking it with myself. You know, there's plenty of people out there that think it's great. I'm just not one of them. Um, it does grow fine. That's probably how it was when I got it. It's sized up really nicely. Obviously, it's had a bit of a... Oh, sorry, that's the older leaf. Yeah, you can see there. That's the older leaf. It's had a journey. Then we've got that out of it, which is a bit better. And now we've got that. It's definitely turning on the edges, so it's not completely bomb-proof or anything. But I just don't like it. There you go. <laughs> there it is. I probably won't show it again in a hurry because I don't like it. But that's Anthurium rugulosum. Okay, this one here is Anthurium lutheri, lut luterii. I'm not sure. It depends if whoever's written the tag is right. I kind of know what it is, but I don't know what it is, if that makes sense. This one's really weird, guys. It's quite nice. I just think... That's my wall going on. I'll try and talk over it. Hopefully it won't bother you. I don't like the way it grows as much. Now, this has been propagated. I know I have some propagations of it. I just saw one earlier. But if I show you what it kind of does, because it is cool, it's just not something I have time for, really. You see it there? It's got loads of dimension on it. This is the newest leaf here. Hopefully you can see what it kind of does. It's Again, it's like long and belt-like, I think. I haven't seen a picture of one of these recently, you know, so I'm not actually sure what it does. No doubt one of you in the comments will know. Not my favorite. Not when they look like this juvenile. Like when you look at Anthurium vitari folium when it's juvenile, it's at least got something. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's bushy, it's little, it's whatever. This is a bit difficult for me. Can't really get around the whole leggy thing. Uh, I do have a thing about leggy plants and this is definitely... It's triggering that, should we say. But it's a nice enough plant. I just don't really have any love for it, guys. Can't really attest to how well it grows. I don't think it grows horrifically because I wouldn't say it's had a ton of care. Yeah, that's him. I'm going to pop him back because I'm sure I've got plenty more to show you. 
I will show you one of the very few variegated anthuriums I have. I know you've seen the Vitari Folium. This guy is variegated anthurium pterodactyl. This is really, really nice. I can't remember the shape it actually goes when it does get bigger, but if I try and tilt it, he's very, very new. You'll have seen this just before Christmas time, I think, if you watch my channel regularly. That's what he looks like. Again, I can't attest to what he's going to look like. Hopefully that is focusing. He's nice. He's got a very nice shape. It looks a bit similar to the macrolobium. He is one of the parents of, you probably know what it's a parent of when I hold it up, of a very, very rare plant that I have here that I'll be showing you a little bit later. So he is very nice. I don't like variegated anthuriums, but being that this is a little bit more chunky, it's a pass. I just don't like it when they're a bit, you know, like someone spilled bleach on them. I don't really like it. This one's not so bad though, so we'll see how he goes. I have high hopes for him because he's got good variegation on him, to be fair. I'll pop him down because I can't tell you anything about him. I haven't had him long enough. So I don't know what his care is like or anything. This boy, and another one for the pendulous anthurium. And yes, I should have kept them together. That is absolutely my fault that I have not. But this here is anthurium, uh, is it SP, Marona? He's doing okay. I think this is, is this the newest one? This might be the newest one. He's obviously had a bit of a burn at some point. I don't know how that's happened. But this is kind of what he looks like. If I bring him up to you, there you go. It's a little bit like looking at that there. It almost looks like Philodendron patricii a little bit, but it's not. It is absolutely tough as nails though. It is tough as nails. Now it doesn't hang quite in the same way that Anthurium vitari folium is. And yes, I will keep going back to that plant because it's great. It's just one of my favorite belt anthuriums because it does what you want it to do. It hangs properly. This plant here, as you can probably tell, if I stand back with it, it doesn't necessarily hang properly like that is how far it spreads. It's a lot more rigid, like the petioles are rigid, they're tall and it hangs like that way. So it's gonna hang like almost like a big, like a nest, like a bird's nest that someone sat on. It's not quite the same as even the Palladiflorum that hangs down quite vertically. This is a bit different. So it's not something I would recommend to you, but if you're collecting anthurium, then go for it because they do get quite big. It's nice, don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing it. But in terms of if you want something pendulous, I wouldn't actually recommend this just because it doesn't, you know what I mean? It doesn't drop. I do have another one that drops a little bit better, but he's he's not something I'd recommend for your house. I might pick him up now actually to compare. I can't pick them up together, but if I can just let you see one more time what this looks like here, just memorize this leaf please and this growth pattern. And I will show you the other one now. This guy here, see, he's different. He's different, he grows a little bit better, but this guy I would not recommend for your house. This is Anthurium Big Bill, I believe, and clues in the name, he's huge. I don't know if you can really tell how big he is. That's me next to one of the leaves. Hopefully you can still hear me on my microphone and I don't smother it but he's not small, guys. He's really not small. I don't think many people tend to have these in their houses. I think this is a let's grow it outside in Florida situation and let it get big because these guys get big. This is not something you necessarily want in your house. I think I got these just because someone was selling one and it was more of a collector's thing, but he's, he's, he's not messing around, honestly. This guy is really young. He's really young, believe it or not. And he's this big, so he's, uh, he's serious. He's really serious. I can try and show you again what he looks like up close. That's kind of what he looks like. Sorry for not getting the best camera angle, but as you can probably appreciate, he's huge and very, very heavy. But that's Anthurium Big Bill. That's another pendulous one. That might be it for the pendulous Anthuriums. Next time we do this, if I do this in a year or so, I'll put them together and I'll, I'll organize this a little bit more. That's the second tub, the second tub done. So now we have a table full of Anthurium and they're all the high value ones, and the interesting ones, and the ones I have to be really careful with because a lot of these have seeds on them and they are crossed with something very rare. I know I've mentioned it on the channel here and there before, but they're crossed with something, something, something. So I have to be really careful with them. So from now on, we will proceed with somewhat caution, but I'm pretty sure I've done them. Oh, there's one more big one actually before I do that. One second. This one I'm gonna have to stand back for as well. This guy is huge. Look how big he got, guys. Can you see how big he got? <laughs> this here is what I like to call Anthurium, mysterious dark boy, because he's large, He's dark and he's in charge. He grows, as you might be able to tell, to a point where the new leaves and it's this tall one that's sort of near my head above it, they grow in to be pretty much black, to be honest, and they fade to green over time, but it takes a hell of a long time to turn green. And this guy isn't even in high light, by the way. I know that happens a lot with plants. Sorry, I'm really trying here. I'm, <laughs> I'm really trying here, literally. If I can just, eh, eh. Can you see that there? <laughs> This is just chaos, this whole video is chaos. There, they grow in like that and eventually they will fade to green. But even when they fade to green, it's kind of a dark green. Don't know if you can see the leaf there that's in front of my face. 
it's not your average green they fade to, they still fade to dark. So we call him that because we don't know what he is. Some people think he's Modinum. Some people think he's, is it red, red secret or red something? Can't remember. Not quite sure. So I call him that. But if you've ever bought one from me, you'll know how cool he is. And he's just wonderful. So that is him. I keep smacking my head with them. I will just come down with him a little bit there. See if I can sort of get him up to the camera. <laughs> there you go. See, he's sexy. Make no mistake, he is sexy. I'm gonna put him down here because he's hot and he needs to be admired from afar. Like so, he's gonna need cut really soon because honestly, he's it's getting a bit much now. So we'll just keep him there like that. And he can look really cute. Does he look cute? Oh, that's where I'm stood. Yeah, he's there, he's, he's, he's loving his life. Right, now we're gonna get on to the plants on the table. Right, we have to start the table off with this plant because I'm obsessed with this plant. A lot of people like this plant. I won't show up about this plant. And that's probably because I like a lot, as you know, Anthurium crystallinum. This here is the red version of the crystallinum. To keep things short and sweet means it's worth a lot more money. It has a red back to it, as you might be able to see there, hopefully. Don't know if you can or not. It's got red backs, red petioles, red petiole insertion and it comes through very red when the leaf develops, comes through like a, like a cherry berry color, and it's much darker than a crystallinum. Now I'm gonna do my best. I think I've got a small one down here of a regular crystallinum to show you. So you can actually see the difference, because it doesn't mean much if you don't see the difference, right? So if I just show you the two, can you see the difference? So on the, I can't remember, I don't know if it's the left-hand side of the screen or the right-hand side of the screen, the one I'm shaking now is Anthurium crystallinum, the regular one. The one on the other side that I'm now shaking is the red crystallinum. So that is the difference. It's subtle, but it's there. If I try my best to show you the backs of these petioles, this one that I'm shaking here is the regular. This one is the red. Can you see the difference? Very, very clear when you put them like that next to each other what the difference is. But I like them both. If you don't care, absolutely go for this one. This one is low to mid double digits. This one, as of a last check, might have this is on the wrong information. It might be cheaper now, I don't know. This one was mid treble digits, mid three digits. So big difference. Decide if you care before you go for one. If you're a collector, then absolutely. But I do love this plant so much. Let me just put this regular one down. He's lovely. And again, he's been sat on top of a shelf. So he is growing downwards like that. He doesn't have to grow like that. He could be growing up. And I think I'm going to do something with him that lets him grow up soon. He might have a Oh God, he might have a flower coming in. Oh Lord, that means he's getting babysat with the rest of them. Honestly, we've damn near got a crash going on. It's a bit ridiculous. That's him. He's a little bit darker. He's redder. He's just as sexy. And the care is the same. If you're wondering between the two, which one you prefer, don't let care of the plant influence you. Let the price, to be honest. I suppose the appearance as well, but you know, they do stay dark, by the way. These are all the leaves there. They do stay just as dark as He's, he's getting quite big though now, isn't he? He's getting to be a big boy. Kind of like the big crystallinum that I would totally hold up for you again, but I cannot do that again. I cannot do it again. This one, oh my gosh, I'm gonna hold this up and I can't remember what it is. I think it's a, it's a Luxurians hybrid, Anthurium Luxurians hybrid. I'm gonna skip over it really quickly because I don't even know what it is, I can't remember. Ben's probably shouting at me right now if he's watching this. Sorry, can't remember what it is. Um, I'll try and get Ben to ID it and then I'll put what we think it is underneath. But that's him there. You definitely see luxuriance in him, but I don't know what else is in him. So, there you go. Quite nice, I guess. Not a lot to say. It really, the, the nice luxuriance part has been muted by whatever it's been crossed with, so um, that's probably why I'm a bit like, meh, what's the point? But that's him anyway. That's just a random Anthurium I've got. Oh, this one's nice. This one's a pain in the ass, guys, but it's nice. It is nice. This one here, I've left the old leaves on to show you that it does have problems without a doubt. I call this... Anthurium crystallinum chocolate. I don't even know if it's got crystallinum in it. It might just be anthurium chocolate actually, but it is really nice. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the chocolateness in it. You might not. Trust me when I tell you that these leaves come in very bronzy and very chocolatey and they kind of stay like that. They're not entirely green. You, they do sort of go green, but yeah, it's not gonna come off on camera. I can see even now under the lights, it's not that obvious. I can see a bit of chocolatiness in that, but you might not be able to. I'll show it up to the screen. There you go. That's what he looks like. See, to me, that's very crystalline to me. But the veining is very muted. He feels thinner than a crystallinum, so he might be hybridized with something. Definitely thinner, for sure. 
He's longer as a standard than a crystallinum. Don't know what he is. He does give the shop some hassle. There is only him, so I haven't propagated from her or anything. And he definitely needs water. He's, he's out, so he'd probably give him some water. Otherwise, he's going to continue to grow crap. I do like him, guys. He's just, just a bit of a pain, really. Okay, this one's really nice. And you might look and go, we've had that before, but you haven't. This is not Anthurium forgetii, but I do think it's involved, to be honest. It's also popped great, cool. Yeah, it's weird. It's really weird. I don't really get it. See, when you look at it like that, that is an old sort of dying leaf. Don't get me wrong. It looks a bit like a forgetii, and it continues to look like a forgetii, but it's it's not it's not quite it's not quite there is something else in it i think forgetty i was definitely a parent but it's not full forgetty i anyway don't ask me how i know i just know but he is very nice but i do keep him because he is a bit different he's a lot darker as well whatever he's being crossed with it's dark i don't know if it's being crossed with like a really dark magnificum or something you can sort of see there it's it's got forgetty eye in it but it's not 100 percent at all he is very very nice though but he's he's not fully rounded at the top he's turning into a bit more of a shield like shape so there he is i do like him a lot a lot a lot he's quite nice he's quite easy to grow he certainly pops as well as a forgetty eye does don't know if you can see that there he's nice enough can't tell you anything about him other than his weird hybrid that lives upstairs okay this plant here i don't know what he is he was sold to me as anthurium papa papa laminum. i can't remember how you say it it's not though it's probably got some in it but it's not full pap as I like to say. Yeah, he's very boring and an interesting look. Very, very boring and interesting. We, we don't care for him. He's dark, he's nice, but he's not full pap. I would love to buy a full pap. I think they're really sexy, but yeah. Another really random one. Usually the random ones come from Indonesia. So I have a lot of things that I'm kind of like, what is it? Don't know. Grow it. Forget about it. I don't really know. But that's him anyway. He also lives in the studio. Okay. I was going to wait to show you this plant, but I'm going to do it now because I'm going to show you future plants after this in this video that have been crossed with this in terms of the seeds. So it doesn't really make sense if I tell you all about the seeds and the parent, this being the father, the sorry, the pollen donor, and you not knowing what it is if you've never seen it. So this is my pride and joy. This here, this gorgeous looking thing, which is very, very different to anything you've seen. This here is Anthurium Delta Force. The value of it is disgustingly hi i paid a lot of money for this and it was the most terrifying thing i've ever done it's actually one of the most is it the most expensive plant i've ever bought yes possibly a lot put it that way he's really really nice and he is a cross between anthurium pterodactyl so that uh, yellow variegated anthurium earlier on and anthurium clarinervium i think and the way that it's decided to you know parent itself is very odd now there are a lot of hybrids out there of anthurium pterodactyl and anthurium clarinervium but they are not delta force i repeat they are not delta force a lot of sellers will tell you it is but it isn't it's just a hybrid the delta force hybrid is the one that specifically looks exactly like this because to my knowledge and to I think everyone else's knowledge, it's the only one that's ever presented this way. So this plant here is actually a cut from the Delta Force that is in Ree Gardens. This is from Marie Nock. This is literally from her plant. That's where I've got it from. I've got it from the US. So it's absolutely the Delta Force. And any subsequent plants that I sell from the shop, it's from this plant. Obviously, I'm doing a lot of work with seeds at the minute. This flower's like no tomorrow. It's great. We have some self-pollinated seeds on the bottom here. Hopefully you can see it. I apologize. I cannot zoom in. Um, it's very exciting times. But yeah, that's him. If you want to buy a Delta Force, I'm not saying buy it from me at all. But be very, very careful because just a hybrid of the two plants is not Delta Force. I must let you know that. But anyway, this plant is super special just due to how very unique it looks. If I show you a leaf up to the camera, look at that. That is something else. It's very beautiful. It reminds me of a butterfly quite a lot. That's a new one there, I think. Is it the newest leaf? No, I think it's second newest. But look at it. It's absolutely mind-bogglingly pretty. Really, really really beautiful that's a nice thumbnail as well a lot of nice thumbnails today i've got to say so yeah i'm going to put him down i'm going to be very careful because he has seeds there that are worth thousands if they actually are you know they they work we get them going and they are true to type so i don't see why i wouldn't it's a self-pollination but we will see so yes when you see seeds on other plants it's the pollen from this bad boy so it's very very exciting and i've got some very very interesting crosses coming up so i'll put them down very carefully this plant looks a bit pathetic. I will give you that. This plant was a lot bigger. He nearly died a couple of times and he's come back from nothing. And even then he still tried to 
kill himself, I don't know how many times. But this here is actually King of Clarinervium. So this is Anthurium Clarinervium crossed with something. I don't think we know the parentage of that specifically. There are different forms of this. I do have a couple of different ones. I don't know if they're still alive or not, but there's this guy that has lobes a little bit like this. And I have one that has lobes that look a bit more like handlebars. So the gap in between is much larger like that, a bit more like a V shape. But that's this guy. He does have some seeds and they are crossed with Delta. Tell me that. Tell me that isn't exciting to see what this guy makes because this guy is very nice and veiny. There you go. Hopefully it will show you there quite nicely. See that? Lovely, lovely. Again, it's, it's not in great condition. It's had a bit of a bad time. But if I just very, very, very gently grab that, there are seeds on there. I know it's not focusing. It's focusing on my face. Hopefully there it will. There are some seeds on there and they are crossed with Delta Force. So I'm going to put this down really carefully if you feel me because I don't want to do anything bad. But it's not the only thing that's crossed with Delta Force, my goodness. Do I have something else here? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There are other things that are crossed, but they're actually upstairs. So I can't share them all with you. No, no weird secret reason, guys. Just literally the logistics of pulling it down. So this plant here has also had a really shit time actually upstairs. This plant is, what was it called? Is it pterodactyl crossed with clarinervium, I think, or something like that? It's a weird hybrid. It's not clarinervium, it's, but it's got clarinervium in it. So of course it's hard as nails. It's got pups in here that I need to take out. You can definitely see the clarinervium in it. If I show you that, yes, it, it is battered, don't get me wrong, but it, it's definitely not full clarinervium if you look at that. He's different. I don't think he should have these. These are, you know, that's just the leaf kind of screwing up on the way out. Does that one show it? Yeah, it's a bit crap. Don't get me wrong, a bit of damage there, but it, the leaf sort of coffinizes itself a little bit. Yes, that is a very specific term. But yeah, he's different. Oh, sorry, it's not, it's not pterodactyl. It's written on what it is. My bad. It's lecunera. Lecunera? I don't know. Lecunera by Delta, which means uh, that's what's on these seeds. And if I'm still really gentle, this terrifies me. But I really try and show you this. We've got some major seeds on the way, and that is for both of them. This one is going as well. So it's very touch and go. These things need babysat to heaven. So there's a lot of babysitting going on. That's why you haven't seen much of my studio because it's just used as a fest for these plants. I'm gonna put this one back as well. This one is really nice and it's not fully apparent what he is, but he's very beautiful. And I would honestly consider having this guy in my house because he's different enough to not just be clarinervium, but he's not super rare that I'd be scared to have him in my house. So I might actually take a baby and grow him out. Let me know if you'd like to see that because I, I do think this guy's very pretty. So he could he could quite easily live in my house. He used to, by the way, if you're wondering if you've seen him before, you, you have. If you remember, if anybody remembers my old repotting videos from my house, if you were to look at that video in the in the left hand corner at the back of the room he sort of lived there near Montserrat de Bayer, I think so you've seen him before don't get me wrong it is that plant he's just had a bit of neglect the next anthurium I'd like to show you I don't think I know much about it I don't even know what's made this this is a weird anthurium but it's very very cool this anthurium here is anthurium fairchild which means it's probably come from fairchild I got this from Ina the NSA I got it sent when I bought a few things off her last year and I got my um, variegated glory awesome sent over stuff like that it all came over along with the red crystals by the way if you're wondering where my red crystal item is from it's from NSA so it's definitely legit should have mentioned that before this is Anthurium Fairchild and that's where it's come from. This one's a little bit curly, so are the other ones. I don't know why that is. Probably just needs a bit of water, but I don't know what's made this at all. Look at this. This is a really, really weird plant. It's got a really weird shape to it. Obviously, it's a little bit bent, but it's it's got, you see what I'm saying? Can't describe what I mean. It looks like it's got crystallinum in it. I would not be surprised because everything has either crystallinum in it or clarinervium in it. It just, just seems to happen. They're obviously very good plants and they just, they go forever. Gives you a really good idea of what you should maybe buy if you want something that's tough or will go the distance or will hybridize well. There's two great ideas there for you. And the Fairchild, I can't tell you a single thing about it. I think I might have one more of these. I do not have many. It's got a leaf out on the way now, so I need to be very careful with it and it will need some water, but he's very, very nice. I do not know what's made him. If you do know what's made him, let me know in the comments because he's, he's weird. Look at him. He's really weird. There's his other leaf there again. And he's got one here that looks a bit more normal, a bit more crystalline to me. And then his really baby leaf that he'll probably come to me with like that. But this big one is really starting to show you that he's gonna be something a little bit different. So that's him 
there. Oh my God, you know what? I think we're actually finished with Anthurium. Now, as I said before, it's probably not every Anthurium that I have. I will have other little rogue weird things that have either died completely and I'll never see them again. I don't know about it yet. I'll have things that have maybe died to a stump or I've cut them off because I've had a bad leaf and they need to come back through. There'll be a few things because there's just stuff in pots everywhere. I don't know if you can see where I'm at at the moment. Like for example, there, there's just a little forgetty eye. Believe it or not, it is a forgetty eye, but it's decided it's not going to be forgetty eye. These plants are so weird. And he just lives here, for example. So I do have stuff everywhere and it is very easy to miss things, but that is generally the anthurium in this shop. Oh my goodness. So there's a lot of exciting things there happening with seeds. It'll be the first to know progress on them. I'll probably document it in some form. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave any comments that you'd like to. If you'd like to help me ID plants that I didn't know what they were or anything like that, please do let me know in the comments. It's quite fine. Just have a go. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that you really enjoy my content. That's it for this week's video, guys. I will see you next week. Bye.